professional stuff. <laughs> um, and I actually hold a thing called a Future Leaders Fellowship of the Next Generation of the Ring. <laughs> design research, actually. And it, it's only going to say out loud, it sounds a bit like some kind of sci fi Lord of the Rings stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. As I can say, oh, I've got one message for you tonight. It's a really, really important message, and it comes from me as an emissary of the, um, the non professional stuff. <laughs> whatever you do, whatever the fuck you do, don't let anyone you care about go to university. <laughs> Seriously. Don't let them go to school, don't let them go to college, in fact, don't let them interact with any of society's traditional sites of power and education, except USB charging sockets, because those are quite important. <laughs> now, you may ask, Joe, for why do you say this? <laughs> Are you not biting the hand that feeds? <laughs> Are you not nibbling on the pinky from which you suckle? <laughs> How do you propose to consume the Lilliputian morsels of sustenance which we've been dealt you? <laughs> and if you did say that to me, I think I would probably say you might need to update your dictionary. <laughs> um, but yeah, there is a point. I kind of get the irony of me standing here as a non-professional member of staff um, saying don't come to university. Well, the thing is, I get it. Yeah, I get it. I mean, I'm in my ivory tower. It's built from the tears of snowflakes. It's held together with thousands upon thousands of Google Scholar citations. And inside, there's seas and seas of research funding. And I just jump around in it like some kind of Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> And I'm telling you not to come to university. <laughs> well, there's a reason for it. And it's the fault of our penis government. <laughs> Boris Johnson means penis. <laughs> Dominic Cumface Cummings. And you've got Matt Han Cock Hancock. And yes, I know two of them are not in the government at the moment, but they were in 2020. And in 2020, they kept saying this thing, so it's one line that kept coming up. They'd say, don't worry, we'll follow the science. We'll follow the science. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? You can't follow science. Like, you can't catch science. You can't chase science. You can't kind of creep up behind science, behind a newspaper and stalk it. <laughs> You can, by the way, creep up behind a scientist and stop that. <laughs> oh, as a popular HR department if, um, advised against <laughs> By the way, I've got a theory on Cummings. Again, sometime in 2020, he saw science was fucking up north. It was trying to get away out of the madness in London. It was heading to Scotland. So he jumped in his Range Rover and started chasing it. He's got dodgy eyes, remember? So somewhere in the north of England, he swung a left. And that's how he ended up in Barnard Castle. <laughs> Meanwhile, science got away scot-free and is hiding out in Glasgow with philosophy and economics. <laughs> that's the true story. Now, actually, the true story is he was just fucked up because Johnson wouldn't invite him to that week's piss up. <laughs> Solve this and go home. <laughs> anyway, science. I, I have no beef with science. I actually love science. I, I don't know if anyone knows this, but I have a GCSE grade C in physics. <laughs> That's... Yes, thank you very much. Somebody's got a B. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> No, no issue with science whatsoever. Um, I mean, look at all the things that science has brought for us and given us. We've got, we've got trains, we've got planes, we've got spaceships. There's a fucking telescope up there that can see the dawn of time, literally. And we've got polyester. Yay! So many things that science has given us. But the thing I don't like is scientism. And scientism... Well, I'll tell you what scientism is in a moment, but before we do that, just think about isms in general. You add those three little letters to anything, you basically take a wonderful thing like science and ruin it. 
Alcohol. <laughs> Sex. I think somebody got up with that before me. Thank you for that, whoever it was. Sex is wonderful, but sex isn't less good. <laughs> nature. I love nature. Most people love nature. Nature isn't. I'm all like, mate, put it away, not on the bus, each to their own. <laughs> John Fashnin. <laughs> so, science and scientism is the same, it completely ruins it. And what scientism is, is the dogmatic belief that the only way of looking at the world is through science, through a scientific lens. And that's not in its own right that much of a problem, it's okay to have any belief, but this idea has infected the entire fucking world. Every nook, every cranny, every profession, doctors, nurses, professors, academics, politicians, all of us, we're all completely infected with this virus and we don't even know it's there. And it really becomes dangerous at this point. Even PE teachers are infected. <laughs> <laughs> the only ones that got away, and there's no explanation for this, they are weird people, but the only ones that got away without the infection, TikTokers and YouTubers. <laughs> Those guys are all right. <laughs> yes, yeah, science and scientism have a strange relationship. It's like science gave birth to scientism. You can't have scientism without science. But they have such different characters considering they've got the same genetic makeup. Like if science met, you met science in a pub, you'd be like, hey man. How's it going? You want to measure some stuff? You got any hypotheses? You want to test? <laughs> and scientism would just look back, start frothing at the mouth, and be like, no, there's only one way, and I know it. And you're not my real daddy anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, shared DNA, but very, very different characters. There's nothing on my arm at all. <laughs> 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 so, you may be asking at this time, where's it going? What's it all about? Well, the link to the government and everything is the reason that stupid message about we'll follow the science lands is that we're all infected with scientism. We want to believe it, even though it's not true. And there's an answer to all this, there's a solution. And the solution just so happens to be related to my fellowship of the Ring of the Next Generation of Design Research. It's design research. The solution is design research. Oh, yeah. You probably don't know what that is, but. No. Uh, <laughs> design research is not that complicated, really, so I won't spend that long on it. It's basically taking the traditions, the, the things that you learn at art and design school, that way of looking at the world, and applying it to research problems. And it provides a wonderful counterpoint to those shortcomings that science doesn't necessarily have the answer to. So they're like, it's a brilliant wingman to science. That's what design research is. And the reason design research works is because designers are basically fucking mercenaries. <laughs> Literally. No, they will stop at nothing to get the job done, to meet the brief. It's kind of like think. Bob the Fett swanning around the universe looking at problems, solving them with armour made of MacBook Pros. <laughs> Designers will stop at nothing to solve the problem. And it generally involves being a bit creative, being a bit artistic, but also being scientific and pragmatic. And when we're faced with you know, these massive global systemic problems, things like climate change, the impact of AI, geopolitical things like Russia, and most importantly, how to stop people being dickheads to each other on Twitter, <laughs> then we need some kind of solution. And design research can offer that. So there you go, that's kind of leading me to the end of my lecture this evening, and that's the reason that you can't let anyone go to university. But don't worry, we are working on it. At Lancaster University, we've got one of the world's leading design research labs called Imagination Lancaster. Ooh. I don't know who came up with the name, by the way. <laughs> anyway, we've got one of the world's leading labs in this space, and we're trying to solve this problem. So once we've done it, we'll let you know, and you can come. <laughs> now, I'm just, just going to... So we've got a bit of culture this evening. I'm going to finish on a poem. <laughs>
Yay! <laughs> I assume you want to hear it. <laughs> there once was an idea called science, and it wanted to form a holy alliance with art, design, and the humanities, with beavers, badgers, bats, and manatees. <laughs> but then, lo, into the room comes scientism and says, No, 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 there shall be no alliance! <laughs> Sorry, it's an unconventional end. <laughs> but hopefully, you get the idea. Um, now, unlike me, scientism really isn't funny to us, so yeah, thank you. <laughs>